Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install Minecraft mod packs using the Twitch app formerly known as the Curse Client. Now there's been a big update to it so that's why I am remaking this video. Now the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is download it and so I have a link in the video description you can go ahead straight to this page and download it. It's a fairly large file at 120 megabytes so it might take a little bit and once it's done downloading we can start installing it and that installed insanely fast. And as you can see, it already recognized my Twitch account, so I can literally just click log in as Build Mine Survive, and it will just log me right in. If you have an old Curse account, you can do that as well. Now that you have the Twitch client open, you're probably like, all right, well, how do I get mod packs going? This is completely different from the old Twitch client. Like, we can browse Twitch streams, we can go watch some, watch some Overwatch, you know? We've got Play Overwatch. Oh, World Cup's going on, that looks cool. But along with Browse, which is just like browsing Twitch in the web browser, there's Library, which shows all of your Twitch games, which I don't have any, and your mods. So Twitch currently has eight games that they support mods for as sort of a way to easily add mods. So if you play any of these other games, you can just add mods to them just as easily as in Minecraft. But you click on Minecraft, you can see I already have a bunch of profiles installed. But if you want to get a Feed the Beast mod pack, you can browse Feed the Beast mod packs over here. If you want to browse all mod packs right here, and say you wanted to get the mod pack I'm currently playing, which is Experimental Craft, you could start typing that in, and you can see it is right here, and you can go ahead and install it. Now once you have a mod pack installed, you'll see it'll come up right here and you can click play. But another thing you can do is click on the picture that represents the mod pack and you'll get a bunch more options. You can see all the mods in this list here. You can see resource packs, maps. You don't really need to worry about those. There's an overview from the map creator. You can read that if you want. And if you want to change how much RAM is used, if you come over here to the top right to this three dots, you click on that, you have a bunch of options. If you're having issues, you can repair Minecraft. If you don't want it anymore, you can delete it. You can export it, duplicate it. But what we really want is profile options, and then we can adjust exactly how much RAM is allocated. So a lot of mod packs need more RAM. Uh, I usually use around 4 to 5 gigabytes per mod pack. You can even select which Forge version, but it automatically selects the latest one, so you don't need to worry about that. Just do as much RAM as you can safely do. If you've got 8 gigs of RAM, try and do like 2.5 gigs, maybe 3, if you can handle it. If you have 16 gigabytes like me, you could go crazy and do like 6 gigs of RAM. But that's not really required unless you're doing a crazy mod pack. For experimental craft, you're only going to need a little bit. But yeah, once you have the exact RAM amount you want, just hit OK, and then you can just launch the mod pack. It will launch a modified version of the Minecraft launcher, and you can go ahead and start playing. All you do is hit play, and it'll launch the mod pack with the RAM settings and everything. So yeah, guys, this was a quick tutorial on how to install mod packs using the Twitch client, formerly known as the Curse client, but now that Twitch bought it, it's becoming their official client. There's even voice channels like Discord servers, all sorts of fun stuff like that. But yeah, Feed the Beast mod packs, if you're looking for something fun to play, definitely those. But if you want to play the mod pack I'm currently playing on my channel, Experimental Craft is quite fun. But yeah, guys, I hope you found this video informative. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.